studio, which is my favourite safe place to be. I've been invited by Fairfield City Museum and Art Gallery to share with you some fun art activities. And today I'll be showing you how to make your very own sketchbook made from upcycled materials, which I like to call an epic pandemic art diary. So let's get started. Our lesson will be in two parts. Part one is making the front and back cover. Now this is something that you can do on your own if you're little. Part two is making the handmade diary. So if you're an older kid, you could do this on your own. Or if you're a little kid, or if you're not feeling confident, you can always ask a grown up to help you. So for the front and back cover, you'll need an A4 sized piece of watercolor paper that's been cut in half, some watercolor paint, a jar of water, a big and a little paintbrush, masking tape, a tea towel or a sponge, and some salt crystals. Okay, so let's make our front and back cover. I'm going to show you how to stretch your watercolor paper. This step isn't really important, but it will help stop your paper from going bumpy like this. So if you want it to not be bumpy, then you need to stretch the paper. How we do that is we take our watercolor paper and we dip it in some water, or you could run it under the tap. Then we're going to wipe our paper down with our towel or our sponge on both sides. Wipe our table down so it's nice and dry. Then we're going to stick one side down with some masking tape right on the edge. And then we're going to stretch our paper and stick the other side down and stick the other sides down as well. So as the paper dries, it'll shrink down back to its normal size and it'll stay flat even after we've painted on it. Now we do it for the other side. Now that our paper is dry, we can start painting. I'm going to show you a technique called wet on wet, also known as blooming. So we're going to leave the masking tape on until our painting is dry. And the first step is to flood your paper with lots of water using a big brush, but not too much so that it's like a puddle. Lots and lots of water. Next, using our little brush, we're going to drop lots of different colours onto our wet paper. And the colours will explode like fireworks and bleed into each other. So I'm using rainbow colours because they always make me happy. But you can use whatever colours you like. Try and think of watercolour like cordial. The more water you add, the lighter the colour will be. So keep adding colour until your painting is almost full and give your colours some time to keep spreading. So if you want to try another effect, what you can do is add salt crystals to the watercolour paint while it's still wet. So what happens is the salt melts into the water and pushes the colour around it outside. So this is what your paper will look like once it's dry and you've removed the sticky tape. So this is without the salt crystals and this is with the salt crystals. And you can see that it has a really, really interesting effect. You can also use this technique to make gift tags, bookmarks or cards for the special people that you may be thinking of. You could turn your watercolour painting into a clever disguise. But for now, let's get started on our epic pandemic art diary. Mm -hmm. 